there, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to March the 1st. It's time for Shutterbug AU, a new photo for the 1st of March. So, February went really well. We had no new participants, but most people are sticking with it. There's some great colours and projects, and it was a lot of fun seeing those. So, thank you once again to Chantal for the photo. It was really nice of her to send that. It really inspired some great color choices the participant prize draw for the 25 dollar gift voucher for february will be at the end of this video so make sure you watch it to the end and congratulate the winner i will be doing the normal name wheel spin at the end so my project i chose orange and green more orange and green this is the second um what are they bump they call it for the um, my shutter bug, my bump cuddle bug, and I've been sort of doing two um, three weight eight ply together, so I get these sort of variegated looking colours in crochet. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with the way it's turning out. I like the fact that we've gone to some brighter colours. So March the first. Sorry, it's a little late. It's been raining all day, and my um, the first of the month is always really busy at work. Yes, I'm finally home and doing the video uh, and it's artificial lighting. But that's just the way life goes when you podcast, content create. Anyway, March the 1st, our photo comes from me. Um, a trip we, that Reeves and I took to Japan. And this particular photo has a special memory for different reasons. So, oh, must be about four years ago, maybe five we decided we'd renovate the kitchen and because it is an old house it's only small uh, my brother calls it my little shack um, but the kitchen was like it, it's like 40 years old this house and it really needed doing and it needed completely doing so we were having the kitchen renovated and thing decided he would ship me off on a cruise to japan and a holiday to japan and Reeves was to go with me to get me out of the way so I wouldn't stress over everything being done. So Reeves and I set off for Japan. We had three days in Tokyo in a hotel. We had an amazing time. He took me to my first ever baseball game and I loved it. We went to Akihabara, uh, which is like the techno um, way out area that all the kids like to go to, that he really wanted to go to with all the electronics. We went there at night and it was awesome had amazing food we had an amazing trip three days in tokyo and then we picked up a cruise ship to go around different parts of japan from yokohama so it was a great cruise but on this cruise part of this was we were heading like to a south island i can't remember what it was reeves did tell me last night and i've forgotten again and we had an announcement from the captain that we couldn't go there. There was a big typhoon heading our way and we needed to turn around and we were going to head north. So we headed north and it came up over later that we were going to go to a place called Amori. It wasn't on our schedule, but it was safe and out of the way of the typhoon. So we went to Amore. Amori, Amore, I don't know how they really pronounce it. Not expecting a lot, but the cruise ship was awesome. They organised some tours, some buses to get us into town. We um, went in and we actually went to the Nabuta Museum. And that's where my photo comes from. The M Nabuta Festival happens early August in Amori. And it is floats made of paper and lights. And it's amazing. It's held early summer. Um, and uh, the museum opened in January 2011. It's two floors. There are four revolving displays of floats. There are videos, photographs, interactive displays. It was a lot of fun to see this because it hadn't been on our schedule. And we both really enjoyed it. I'll just check my notes to see if there's anything else. The actual museum is totally dedicated to the history of the Nabuta festival and each year after the festival they change the floats around and four of 
like this year's will go into the museum. It is just really amazing. The giant drums, they beat everything. If you ever go to Japan and in Amore, definitely go to the Nabuda Museum. You won't be disappointed. So, do you want to see the photo? Picked. This is a pretty, um, going to be a pretty good photo, I think, because of the colours. Now, you're only going to see half of the photo because of the colour palette next to it. Hopefully the iPad will show it. There you go. That is actually a float. Now they have the museum really dark and all the floats lit up behind them but that is actually a float and that was one of the mass things on the float. And it gave us a really good colour palette. Like, So there's some hot pinks and it's all variegated colours, ladies. Get your variegated yarn out of your yarn stash. We've got grey with hot pink and green. We've got yellow with green and hot pink. We've got blues. We've got greys and white. We've got blues with grey and lighter blues. We've got some purple with rose pinks and a bit of grey. We've got some like hot pink with white and then we've got this really hot pink reddish colour. Look, remember this photo will be at the end of the video so make sure you check it out for the palette but it is time to break out those variegated yarns and add them to your project or make a project with variegated colours. I think that's really great and I really enjoyed this trip. I enjoyed spending time with just Reeves. You know, I've spent time with my eldest son in London, just the two of us. And, um, and it's been, we've had trips with just um, Thing and I. It, it's great to be able to do what you want to do and can afford to do. Look, for those who have done cruises, they will know. It is just as expensive for a person on their own to do a cruise as it is, as it is two people. The single supplement is ridiculous. You really pay for the second person to be there. And that's why Thing said, Reeves might as well go with you. It's just ridiculous. You pay a lot of money for a single supplement. And it's the same when I did a bus tour of Italy. I was single, but I had to pay for a second person to be there because everything is done two by two, thanks to Noah's Ark. <laughs> Joke. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this um, week's photo, this fortnight's photo, and you really shop your stash and have a look. Because remember, it's stashed before cash in 2024. And yeah, I can't wait to see what you come up with. So stay tuned. There'll be a little video of the prize draw at the end. Congratulate the winners. Tell me if you've been to Japan um, and what was your favourite memory of Japan. And if you've ever been to a Mori or have you ever seen an Abuda festival, I'd be really interested. I'd love to go to the festival one year. And we have been talking recently, Reeves and I, about going back to Japan. Anyway, guys, bye for now. Stay tuned for the prize draw. Welcome to the participant prize draw for the month of February for Shutterbug AU. We have 18 names on the wheel. Good luck, everyone. Congratulations, Angela M. I think that's man. Oh, I can't remember her surname. But Angela, you have won yourself a $25 gift voucher or something of that nature. It's um, sometimes extremely hard to organise one in Canada if you live in Canada. All you have to do is email me and we can negotiate what sort of gift voucher, pattern prize, or whether you just want cash transferred to your PayPal account. I'm quite happy to do that. So there you go. Congratulations, Angela. Well done. Everyone, make sure you congratulate Angela in the comments. That would be awesome. And I can't wait to see what you all come up with for March. Bye for now.